Hello, Mr. Wilcock here. Now, we're going to be starting using something called Google Meet. And Google Meet is very exciting because it lets you and us teachers communicate by video chat. Not only can you talk with your teacher, but we can also include all of the class in one conversation at the same time, so we can all chat to each other and see our faces again. This is a really lovely thing to do, but we need to be clear on a couple of things which are really important before we get started using Google Meet. So, I'm going to share a few top tips for you, and hopefully we'll be able to get started using Google Meet really soon. So, tip number one. Make sure that your parents or guardians know that you're going to have a Google Meet session. So make sure they know beforehand that we're going to do this at half past two or whatever time it is, and make sure they give you permission to take part. We need to be careful that everyone knows what's going on, and being honest and open and having that conversation is a really good thing to do. So make sure your parents, carers and guardians know before you press accept on the video call. You could, if you'd like to, take part in the video call but not have your video camera turned on. So you can see other people but they can't see you. And it might be that's a discussion for you to have for your family, and it might be you decide that's a good option as well. To join the meeting, you will be sent a link by email or on Shobi, and that link, if you click on it, will take you straight into Google Meet on your computer. It's best to use it in the Google Chrome browser, because that seems to work best, but you can also use it on the app for Android or for iPhone or iPad. If clicking the link doesn't work, you can type in the letter code, which is about 10 letters long, and that will take you to the meeting as well. Please don't share these links with anyone because they're private for your class, and there'll be a new link for each Google Meet session your teacher hosts. You don't need to have a Google account to join a Google Meet session. You'll get the code or a link and you can click on there, and you should be able to connect straight away. If it does ask you to use a Google account, you could try it on a different device, or perhaps ask an adult to help you set that up. If you have an invite to a Google Meet meeting, Try and get there when the meeting starts if you can. It may only be there for 10 minutes. The teacher may not have a huge amount of time to sit down and talk on that particular day. So if the invite says 10.15 and you're able to be there, please do be there for 10.15. If you're not able to be there, if you decide not to do it that day or if you're busy or you don't feel up to it, it's absolutely fine. These are not things that you have to do. We're not saying that you have to take part in these meetings. It's just there as a nice option to help us all stay in touch whilst the school is closed. When you're on the video call, imagine having 30 different people trying to talk at once. It would be impossible. So what you need to do is make sure that you have muted your microphone. This is really easy to do. Just press the little microphone icon on your screen and it will say muted. If you want to talk, put your hand up or give the teacher a wave and they'll see you. And they will then ask you to unmute your microphone so you can talk. Otherwise, it becomes very confusing where 30 people trying to talk at the same time. When you're on that video call, think about the environment that you're in. I'm sat here with a nice plain wall behind me, there are no people running backwards and forwards, there are no dogs barking. Try and find somewhere a bit peaceful and a bit neutral, without too much going on, where you can sit to have your meeting. It's always great to do it around your family, so if they're nearby, that's brilliant. Don't go shutting yourself away in somewhere and not be, not be near other people. But it would be good to kind of have a little bit of a space where you can talk and hear what's going on. The whole point of these Google Meet conversations is to catch up with your teacher and your class, perhaps to do some online learning sessions with your teacher. We're not here just to have a bit of a chat and be silly and mess around. We're bringing the whole class together to have a proper meaningful conversation and discussion. So please be mindful of that, and remember this is not just a chance to be silly with your friends. Behave like you would do in a class lesson. That's my advice for you. When you're on the video call, remember that people can see you, so please make sure that you're dressed appropriately. You don't need to be in school uniform, so don't worry about that, but just make sure you're wearing something sensible and not something that's inappropriate or silly. If you want to see more people on the screen at once, and if you're on a computer in the Google Chrome browser, you can download a plugin for Chrome 
called Google Meet um, Grid, Google Meet Grid, and that will let you see everyone on the screen at once. Otherwise, what will happen is the people who are talking will come up on the screen, and the other ones will be down the side, and you can just see the little small thumbnails of them. If your teacher's talking, they'll be the one in the middle of the screen. If your friend's talking, they'll pop up instead. When you're talking on Google Meet, make sure you're talking quite loudly and clearly so everyone can hear you. And remember, please don't interrupt other people. We need to be mindful that everyone's internet speed will be different, some will have a better connection than others, and it may be when some people are talking, you won't be able to hear them quite so well because of the delay on the internet. Be mindful of this, and if you really can't hear, put your hand up and the teacher can get them to repeat what they said. At the end of the meeting, the teacher will end the session, and you can press the red phone icon to leave at any time. I really hope that these Google Meet sessions give you a nice chance to stay in touch with your friends and your teachers. Times like these are difficult, and they're a little bit strange for everyone, for us and for you, and we're trying out a few new things just like this to keep everyone connected. Please remember, ask your parent or guardian's permission before you take part in a video chat with us and make sure that you behave like you would do in school. I'm going to try and jump into a few conversations with the classes as well and I can't wait to see you all and to chat to you very, very soon. Until then, take care and keep an eye out for the first Google Meet link coming your way, hopefully, this week. <laughs>